So I think this is a greenish black. Nobody talked about it. Why? Did I just find it out myself? Mars recently launched a new eyeshadow palette called Mars Blooming Eyeshadow Palette. For the shade 04 Orchids with me, I love the color story of each and every palette of this range. Now Orchid is neutral brown, a little warm eyeshadow palette. Definitely the most everyday palette from the range. Each palette contains one transition shade, one contour or crease shade, shimmer shade. You know, you can create a whole eye look with this palette. Three different kind of formulas. So there are matte, then there are metallic shadows, which is this one and this one. And this single palette as a shimmery shadow so very well thought of now coming to the packaging i really like the aesthetic of it as well as the sturdiness of it very strong and compact heavy duty it also has a mirror it's a complete palette the size is very small so very travel friendly as well okay i waited to do this with you guys hi me i got a lot of requests for wearing guest makeup so i was thinking of doing this eye look today it is very wearing appropriate i have actually nothing on my eyelids i'm gonna go with a little bit of lighter concealer tap 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 Okay, looks like my eyelids are all prepped and primed. Now, I love when my palette, even the Chotu ones, has this particular shade. Because what I'm going to use to set this concealer, when you have dark circles or you have discoloration on your eyelids and you, on a regular basis, fix the discoloration. So, basically, you want to do just this. That time also, this color is very, very important. I really appreciate when dance put this color. This color right here is not super white or super fair. It has a medium skin tone. So, your eyes are not going to be super whitewashed because this has pigment. Now that my eyes are all set, I'm going to start with drawing the eyeliner using the black color now i'm gonna use a flat yet fluffy brush if you don't understand i have explained which eye brushes for what purpose in details in this video taking a little bit because this is black oh my god this is so pigmented look at how much of the product came out that's of a lot do you see that okay so this is very loosely pressed the powder is very loose so that's why it's gonna give you more pigment but that's also another reason for fallout i don't know let's see whether it happens or not starting with the lash line both upper and lower i mainly chose this eye look because it's a very beginner friendly eye look you do not have to do eyeliner i think eyeliner is the biggest problem for everybody not beginner me too product is super easily applying on the eyes from the brush even after tapping two times this is the pigment the black is so intense i love it it is also blending very easily you don't have to go you know do like that it's very effortless with light pressure the black is blending going to do the other eye the formulas are not at all chalky I'm going to take a very small blending brush and blend this mess that i've created do you see how easily the black pigment is blending i had really high hope and I see where it is going now. Okay, as I said, this is loosely pressed and hence so much of pigment. But curly pops, where is the fallout? Only Mars can do that. Where is the fallout? Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think the black blends to a little tinge of green. Yeah, it does. Can you see that? It's not like true black, right? see the difference blended versus not blended let me do it over here wow okay pigment but do you see here this area when it's blended it is a little greenish so i think this is a greenish black but that's like very minute observation okay need to wipe this off because i am wearing a very new dress and i am a messy person okay so do you see the green ness of the color of the black this brown over here and using the same brush i'm going to blend this black with the brown does my dress very brown heavy I, also my lipstick i love the lipstick combo also needless to say this shadows blends with each other very easily and it is not patchy i'm going to place the pigment first and then i'm going to blend using a bigger fluffy brush i'm basically optimizing according to my eye structure bone structure where the contour has to be placed is not the same as the picture of course but you know what since the eyeshadow the black one has a green 
undertone and the brown is a little warm oh. so that's why i think i'm finding it a little uh, not the formula but the color mismatch i'm finding it while blending i didn't know this would happen blending on my crease i'll make this work don't worry this is the game of applying blending and then building up so basically layer it up that's how you make the eye look three dimensional you need patience baby girls and i'm going to use this brown a lot more to build up the color that i want i'm trying to do a cut crease without cutting the crease that is what i do all the time actually i don't like a second application of concealer to be honest only the outer part of your eye is where i'm building up the brown and the black because the inner part will have shimmy 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 from here yeah i really like how it's going by the way i did not apply any concealer today that's why you see my dark color i'm gonna use this color again i'm gonna fade it out seamlessly so there is no sharp edges of brown how smooth is the transition all the colors are so pigmented guys okay so this is what the eye makeup looks like see did so much but looks like i haven't done much this is another palette that i love yes you guys did right because it has all the brown this black color doesn't have a green in it looks the same do you see there is no green in it over here maybe the match is more pigmented but you see there is no green in it because of which i think it's taking a little more time so i'm very tempted to use this black Should I do it? You know the black is faded. I need to build it up. Let me use at least for one eye this color again. You close your eyes, go very near to your eyelashes, and stamp the product this time. Do you see that? This also makes an illusion that you have too many lashes. You see the difference now? Circular motion. And I think this is what I was going for. I really like the depth of the eye look here. Now for this eye, do you see how much building up makes difference? Look at this eye versus this eye. There's so much depth to it. Okay, to each my curiosity, I'm going to use this black for this eye to build up the color. Blend. Since this black doesn't have any green in it the blending is pretty smooth with the brown it is very easy i don't have to blend too much why did it have a little green and nobody talked about it why did i just find it out myself oh my god i feel like very intelligent <laughs> i don't know is it my particular palette i don't think so i think it's for everybody the formula is same i bought it from mars website by the way yes bought it not pr but so much of honesty i review i don't think any brand is satisfied from me and nobody sends pr circular motion the undertone is not concerning but could have been better anyways after blending and making it work there is not much difference i don't see any this is pretty much what the black and the brown and the skin color will do now what i'm going to do is all shimmers but for that i'm going to apply kajal this is what i'm using actually I applied a little thick on the lower water line shimmer time two different kind of formula this and the pink one is the same but this i think feels like a wash of sparkles you know recently makeup by marlo has come up with their moonlight palette the shimmers there are very wash of sparkles you know i feel like this is that taking a flat brush and just swiping the colors definitely it's like sheer wash of sparkles and you need to build up to get the pigment of this shimmer i'm going to pack it up in the inner corner the fallout of this palette is very minimal like on a scale of 1 to 10 it's like 3 the particles are very fine by the way okay swiss beauty has a palette which also has a similar scattered sparkles but those sparkle particles are very chunky so i feel like my eyelid weigh down a lot if i wear them so i don't i think i'm going to make use of this color a lot more in a everyday use let me use my fingers okay a lot gets picked up with fingers i'm going to tap 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 wow this is so easy why did i use brush i love the application with the fingers it's effortless with brush you need to swipe a little bit because it doesn't get picked up that well also it's very pretty and blended over here because of the fingers mm -hmm. though looks on the pan very whitish the particles has all sorts of colors like purple pink green yellow now the inner corners i used this color now i think i'm going to use this color i was using brush let's stick to that i'm going to tap 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 on the middle of the eyelid you know what let's use finger a little bit and see where this is going okay wow it gets picked up a lot better as you can see do you see how powerful this pigment is as i said this formula is different and this formula is different so this is like your ordinary shimmer formula not ordinary though <laughs> it is very pigmented and very buttery and very smooth the particles are fine 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 but this formula is what you don't see on a palette of this price so i have fully ditched the brush really it is popping right now it is not subtle anymore and blending with the previous shimmer 
Okay, I think I did pretty good job in blending the shimmer. I didn't have to work that much. It was very really effortless. Now, Deepika also had a little bit of shimmer on her lower lash line. So, I'm going to use a very thin pencil brush for that. Wow, so pretty. Do you see that? It's a very pretty wedding look. Let me tell you that. I'm going to go with all kinds of wedding outfits. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Let me apply a little bit of mascara and concealer and come back. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with it. Look how pretty that looks. I cleaned it up using the concealer a little bit. Ages. Okay, so I also try to use this particular shade as highlighter, but I didn't like it because this is a scattered shimmer. It looked pretty bad on the face and also cannot be used as a highlighter because it is scattered. This, I cannot use it as well because I feel like this is too pigmented to be used on face. So I don't think any of the shimmers can be used as a highlighter, but I do pretty much really like how the eyes turned uh, I was finding for the last 10 minutes a proper con for me to not get my hands on this product already I did but you know for you guys there is no solid con for you to not buy it it does have three claims and all are true yes highly pigmented yes easy to blend and yes minimal fallout it doesn't say no fallout so I can't tell this little guy accountable as far as the ingredient list it does have talc in it so it is not talc free formula and it does have of course it's gonna have mica you know but I hope I hope it is ethically sourced mica and that's it I don't see any fragrance in it these are just five small nude eyeshadow palettes that I use and I have if I arrange them according to how much I use and love this one the Nika K1 because reputation of color pigments are like below average fourth passport Swiss Beauty because as compared to the price I think this is the most pricey it's not that pigmented and the shimmers are not that the palette is not palletting okay I have talked in details in this video you should check that out the brand who created this cannot make this okay now comes the third I actually love this palette honestly I didn't want to put it at third I wanted to make this to draw this is buttery this is pigmented but here the mattes and the shimmers are good this is the shimmers are like okay only one shimmer also there there is more option here so putting it on the third second just because this has more browns in it and i love the black of this one otherwise this is really good i love this palette during durga puja i have used it every day i like the fact that it has one two three three browns that i often use to create transition apart from the skin color and the black on this there is only one brown here there are three browns so more depth i can create i mean also this is 12 pan palette so i can't even compare it's like a six pan for six pan it's great so it's almost one hour and this is how it looks like i don't think it, i need to check the longevity of eyeshadows it's gonna stay powder products generally stay a lot more let's talk about the pros and cons now as i said the, there are so many pros to be honest very blendable very pigmented all the colors blends together very easily the shimmers are pigmented please apply with fingertips now for the cons there is fallout but it's very negligible if i consider all other palettes of this price range secondly i think the major con has to be the black pigment again the formula is top notch but the color i don't know it was very unexpected to find green underneath the black i don't know is it happening with you i hope i am the only one because i don't want you guys to have a greenish black it doesn't look like on the pan but it is going to happen if you blend the black which is a little bit difficult to work with if i'm given other blacks i'm going to try other black rather than going for this one but anyways the final look came out pretty good so i'm going to just push that at the back of my head particularly this shade is neutral warm so every undertones can use it get it if you are a beginner well i would not recommend this particular palette to all the pros and makeup artists who does clients i think you will need a lot more than this so it is basically beginner friendly or very much travel friendly yes this is value for money the price and the value justifies though this is very affordable will i repurchase this well of course i'm gonna try out a different shade because the color story is very tempting you know whoever decided the color story of each and every palette i am giving you a free hug you did a great job you need a raise <laughs> so i think i'm gonna rate it four out of five overall i love it and i'm gonna highly 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 recommend this